nice rainy windy here day here in San Diego one owner car got here and it kind of shut me down for today this was the one we we're gonna do pictures of the 70 town and country 440 one owner I actually called up and talked to the grandson yesterday and this guy had had it since new uh, beautiful car uh, so that's one of the next one that's up There's so many, ooh, look at that. I mean, all power. Doors open and close like new. I love that back spoiler, wind deflector, whatever you want to call it. Look at the handle here. So cool. Not only that, this one has a um, magic gate, or I don't know what they call them from uh, brand to brand. This one's up on eBay, very cheap. Um, it's at a reserve type auction. This Seville, I don't have done yet. It's a beautiful, um, oh, oh, I don't bear back, bumble back. I forgot what we call them. Bustle back. There you go. It's in great condition. Um, it's coming up really soon. Beautiful chocolate brown interior. Little birdie. The 72 or 3 Centurion coming up soon. Um, try, I was going to get this one here this weekend. It's a 75, I believe. Buick 225 Limited Landau. Something else that goes with that, I forget. 455 car. Oh, oh man. If you want the coolest of the mid 70s Chevys, GMs, well, here you go. Um, I'm not prejudiced. Buick Old Pontiac Chevy. Um, any of the flagship cars are fine with me. And this one with the Limited. Landau with the skirts and everything and the Buick Motor Division rallies. I got to show you the inside seats here We were kind of cleaning it out because it's Well, it was gonna be the one we pictured today and I tell you I go back and forth whether to do the seats on them or not and All that kind of stuff. This one deserves to be restored 100% it's got something to do with the company that made the Fleetwoods um, And such it's got the foul wood on it there um, coming up soon is the Peugeot 504d um, I have wanted to redo this for a long time I waited and waited and waited to get an injector pump got my injector pump this is a one owner 93,000 original miles um, interior is just as nice as it gets runs great you can see that limited needs a trunk lid it's the worst thing on it. The Jag, it's going to be a while, but it's coming up. <clears throat> Cord in the water, good thing it's unplugged. Um, Eldorado Baritz, top of the line, 25,000 original miles. Um, it's coming up soon. The, the Benz is sold, the coupe here. The Tahoe will be coming up soon. Got another SLC over here. 23,000 mile GTA. Um, Oh, they got the seats back. I don't know why they got the seats back. You see on the door there, I need to replace a piece of vinyl. Hail TD Wagon, I got it at this lot now. I'm going to do the headliner. Cherokee Chief. Now, this bad boy is nice. It's clean. I love the big high 10 Chiefs on them. <clears throat> Wish I was on the other side. But I'm not. I don't have much video time beautiful um, I put a well I had a carpet installed so new carpets and all but this is a cool little Cherokee hasn't even been detailed on the inside yet little chief s on the dash got breeder here hi breeder and she is on this little walk around Dodge Ram, I've got an alarm issue with. It's going to be on here soon. 300 SE, about a 9091 model. Um, any of these cars, call me up. I am moving, and in doing so, I'll make you a deal on the stuff before I move. 7071 satellite, I believe. Oh, Fury 3. I'm a Fury 3. That's what it is. 91 or 2, 300 CE. That one's on eBay right now. This one was actually coming up next, and also, along with the other bigger cars over there, but, man, this car deserves hubcaps. 
I'm going to try and look up a set of hubcaps today, since the rain killed us anyways. 500 SL, i got to get that one done. This little Peugeot 604 is a nice car. 604D. I don't know if they call them a D. It is a diesel. <clears throat> one owner car. 78,000 original miles on a diesel. Paints in good condition. The brick one. Not that over there. The Saab 96. Got a tire off still. I get over here and I just don't get the time to get all of the lots addressed. 6.9 up there. I just bought another 6.9. This car here, YouTube special, okay? It's beautiful. It's a one owner car. It's fully loaded. Let's show you the seats. It's in great shape. YouTube special. Get it now. Let me tell you about it first. Like I say, one owner, very clean, very clean under the hood. Needs, well, it needs you. But it needs um, a head a head gasket. Um, the head gasket is bad. I don't know if it's one or both. I do both. Um, it's about 110,000 on it. And the tranny slip. I've got a guy who'll put a, a redone. He'll redo everything for 1475. He told me he wanted 1575. So, but he he isn't the quickest. Um, it takes him a while. Um, I know Spalding's in uh, Spokane had a tranny and a engine for about I think a 650, and then depending on where you're getting it shipped to, 50 bucks to a couple hundred bucks. Old 98 Regency Elite with the supercharger. That is coming up soon. The Paris Eldorado or Paris DeVille Camino. It ain't coming up too soon. I want to do something on it. I want to redo the whole car. My dad wants to put horns and stacks and pipes on it. This one, we're getting it moved around. Get it out of here. If you've been watching the walk-arounds much, you'll notice the Daihatsu is gone. Sold yesterday, in fact. A guy came over from Arizona. Drove it home. Um... The 450 SL, another YouTube special, 73 with the Euro bumpers. Um, needs a distributor or a cap and rotor, I'm not sure. Um, I think it's a cap and rotor and I just didn't want to spend the big money. Euro bumpers and everything, it's a 73, uh, 450 SL, 350 SL, hang on now. 450 SL. And this one I will take Rebuilt title, by the way. Somebody smacked it at some point, um, or something, or got stolen. And on this one, I take twenty-five hundred bucks. YouTube special on these here. Once I get them detailed out, pictured, and everything, it's a lot. I get a little bit deeper in them. This one here, another. <laughs> I picked this one up, and I, it's got the Euro light. The other one's broke. Uh, bumpers are in good shape. Uh, it's a straight car, cloth interior. Um, this one here, I don't know if it's a 350 or 450. This is a 350 SLC. Original California plates. Ain't been on there since 05. So, this one here, before I get deeper in it or anything, and I'll tell you, it needs work on the interior. Um, I haven't even turned the key on it yet. Um, this one here, I would take... Let me think about this. 1700 bucks. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, by the way. Um, and I'm sorry, 1500 bucks on this car. I hate to take it apart. Um, the 220S back there I will sell, and the 230. Yeah. 230 or 250. Who knows, if you're interested, I'll help you out on it. 230, I was right the first time. Trailer over there is for sale. It's windy as heck, and I just figured I'd get something on camera today because I, I was ready to film. So... That's kind of a quick walk around, quick review. The 180 will be coming up soon, as will that 450 SL over there. If you're looking for SLs, I've got them tucked everywhere. Got another Buick Collector out there. It's a Woody Wagon. And another couple Ford trucks out there coming up. But thanks for watching. Oh, the boat. The boat. Here you go. YouTube special. Possibly the best thing you've ever heard. Hang on here. i got to spend the last minute doing this. This here, I had an issue with the... Um, road here a guy came off the road and hit the boat so that's not good hang on here 
Guy took off running down that way. Cops came. They weren't too happy to chase him. He had insurance. He came off and smacked in here and landed in my freaking yard with the front of his truck over here. And he hit that. My buddy told me what it was called yesterday, that little collar part. But that's the worst of the back, and he broke the prop. Uh, busted this piece of wood off that we threw back here somewhere. You can watch the review of this on my channel. Bent the stair and did a little damage to the way it is on the trailer. Um, as you can see, the entire boat about that much. Bent this piece. So simple uh, moving the boat up and over or yanking this piece. This one here is totally bent. So it'll have to be redone. So somewhat, a little bit of work. A little bit of work. I don't know about the structure of the axles. I had everybody say it looks fine. But that piece up there is bent and that piece on the back here is broken. So that's the deal. So with that in mind, this boat is a nice, I think it's a Cuddy Cabin. What is it called? I don't know. It's a Larson Delta, I know that. And he broke into the fence there. Didn't really do any damage anywhere, but it definitely, he scuffed it somewhere right here. Right there and broke this piece off and this piece so that's what i know oh he bent that piece so that's your bad parts about this this boat has got a great running merc in it and everything gps and all that watch the video on it cash money take it out of here i will take come on get ready drum roll please 950 bucks um and that's a youtube special i'm gonna throw it on ebay for a lot more. I mean, shoot, I hate to take it apart and just scrap it, but with the motor and everything and the outdrive and all the different parts, it is what it is. It's a very nice boat. So, 950. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuide.com. We'll see you. Nathan, 406 544 6919. Call me up. Buy this boat. Buy something. We'll see you.